welcome back after that flabbergasting fuckery that we had last time all of the colors let me just put out a personal apology right now let me state that i apologize for anybody out there who's epileptic i did not expect all those flashing lights i did not expect all the stuff that you go through toward the end of it it was my first run through so please forgive me had i known it was coming i'd have put on a filter of some sort well, I mean, I'm sure epileptic people know to be careful on YouTube, and you didn't give them epilepsy, so don't don't take it all on yourself. All right. But yes, last last episode we got the neutral ending, which, as I as I mentioned, is kind of a mandatory on your first time through. Uh -huh. But it's still better to do the pacifist run as if you're going serious for the pacifist run, because then you don't have to run through the entire game again. You just have to go do the stuff that unlocks after you got the neutral ending. Exactly, and the only reason I'm showing it via the intro, because I want to uh, remind, I'm gonna remind people, those who haven't watched the previous videos or know Undertale by now, to see you know, what the whole story was about, so you could read through that while we're talking. And Basically, a child fell underground, monsters had a war with humans, monsters got locked underground, so... Uh -huh. uh, we go to continue, we right? Exactly. Okay. Now, Flowey, at the end of the whole thing, said, Hey, I'll give you a better ending if you go and take care of Alfie's. All right, so let's so, go back to Alfie's. Yes, start heading back towards Alfie's mm -hmm. in the lab. Let's do the thing. It still exactly. is a beautiful, it's a beautiful scenery over there. What's down this way? Oh, wait, I Coffins. remember. Yeah, we ain't doing yeah. that. No? Your coffin? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No. I don't want to be dead. I like this house. I really like the way that the pillars and the columns are set up. Although it would be... It's the church. It would be too creepy for me to live in. It's a church, but um, if you'll notice the, on the stained glass windows, they, uh, they were doing the whole, you know, angel from above thing that uh, Gerson mentioned. Like, what's that, what was that sign supposed to mean? Yeah. And, and you see there's the angel coming down from above. And uh -huh. uh, when, when we spoke with Gerson, that was, the, you know, you remember Turtle Papa. Yeah. He was all, uh, what does it mean? Well, it could mean that they're going to free us or hell, maybe they're just going to kill us. True it's that. kind of a kind of a reflection of the duality of the game. You could go either direction. Yeah. And honestly now it's like after everything I've experienced, I don't want to go full genocide. But um uh, dude, I know how you feel, but <sighs> there's just a whole other side to the story that I think you do need to see. I know, but we're not gonna I'm not gonna make that like after Undertale Tuesday. After we're done fully, fully, fully with the um, pacifist run, I'm going to take a break and do other games. So, And also, maybe, just maybe, if he allows it, I'll be supporting my buddy Solanus here on his YouTube channel for future videos of his. Possibly. We'll see. Might be cool to do. Dun, dun. Uh, let's see. Wow, the wind. What's that? Ring, ring? Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. <laughs> Human, you have to deliver something for me. Ooh. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. Say ya, punk. Oh, cool. Okay, and, and that is the trigger. That is the flag that doesn't happen until you have one neutral run under your belt. Oh, right, cool. So, so now we have to head back to Snowden. All right, let's do that then. Do, 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 yep. Do. Time to go talk to River Person. Mm -mm -mm. Wrong way. All right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. It has been a challenging mating season for River Person. I imagine so. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't watch Rick and Morty, do you? No, I do not. Mm, shame. I can see that if I was popular enough, I'd see the comments now. What? You don't watch Rick and Morty? Rabble, rabble. Something's telling me to save. I have a strong feeling in my yeah. gut to save this. Tra la la, care for a ride. Yes. You know the drill. 
But yeah, um, hopefully I definitely want to check out some of the other games you do. Like, I definitely want to... You know what I kind of loved doing? I liked doing um, um, Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals, when you were doing that with your uh, buddy. Yeah. To be honest, um, I, I don't know if I can finish that game. Uh, it's It's been way too long since I've played that sort of game, and I think I've kind of grown out of the grind. I understand. It's, it's just, it was, I, I might go back to it, but the next thing I'm doing with Rambler uh, is going to be Shantae Risky's Revenge. Oh, I want I wanted on that because I, I have the game and it's fun. I appreciate it, man. If you think you can be there for it. Hey, just give me the time. Like, sometimes my schedule is different from yours, so we'll work on it. Yeah, dude. Uh, the way I roll, we kind of kind of got to do it. We're, we're looking for Undyne. The way I do it, man, I keep a tight schedule, so shit, mm. shit's gotta happen. Alright. Oh, hello. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, oh for yeah. the love! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't use one crab out- Oh, that's right. No, 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 no. I did. I did. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Um, hello? Sorry, my I muted. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I I need you to deliver this letter to Doctor Alfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. <laughs> So here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. <laughs> oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. All right, so we gotta go to Hotland now. Yep. And you remember what happened last time Undyne went into Hotland anyways. It was bad. And, uh, well, she was chasing you. And uh, <sighs> she kind of collapsed. Probably yes. It was just because of the armor, though, because the armor was big and hot. So we're going to Alphysis's lab. In Hotland. Exactly. All of a sudden, I want a hot dog. Well, I don't think Sans is selling hot d H dogs or hot cats anymore. Mm. La la la, the water is very wet today. This just in! Water wet! OMG. <laughs> I K R. <laughs> uh, don't get that. Go. Oh, oh okay. I want to say I'm nervous. Okay. okay, so I'm I'm I get nervous. Okay, so I I can promise you there are not going to be any challenging bosses this episode, but you're going the wrong way. Oh, okay. Doctor Alfie's lab. This to the. To the right? Okay. Lab, yes. I can tell by the big word that says lab on it. Slide. You slide? Yeah. You you Mega Man slide, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. I, can I just slide it back out? Uh, no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's kind of strongly, isn't it? Well, wait a second. What the? Oh. Hey, if this is a joke, it's, uh... It's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? No! It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. Um. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. No, but see, I don't. I don't, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. But you see, it. Um... Much less, um. This? <laughs> And so passionately, too. Oh, I wish I had a chance to respond. Like, I didn't write the letter. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. Do what? 
It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. I did, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Dating start. Oh, come on! This is not... This is not... Uh, <sighs> sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Uh. Oh. Uh, how do I look? Wow, she really is a female. My friend helped me uh, pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, really? Come on now. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Um, um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. <laughs> That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. What? Right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got... Some metal armor polish. <sighs> um, maybe you can't use that. But... I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. I don't have scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spirit repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. But see, I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Um, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be doing this. You're totally dating, bro. Uh, do you like anime? Uh, of course I do. Hey, me too! Awkward! Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Oh my goodness, freaking Undyne's gonna kill me. <laughs> I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Uh, <laughs> what? Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. Yeah, but see, that wasn't supposed to be me. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Wait, she. Does that mean- Oh no. Oh man. Oh no. That's her over there. I can't, can't let her see me on a date with you. No, you can't. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing... It might be a bad idea. Yeah! So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Um... Huh? You don't have it? No, you see, I, um... Ah! Have you at least seen her? Uh... Your choice here, bro. See, 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 this is not fair. This is not right. This is not right! Just... Have you seen her? Uh, it's a yes or no question. But <laughs> have you? I don't know, man. That all depends. You want to steal someone's wife? -in? No, I will not steal the wife. -in. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. God, this episode's gonna be tough on my throat. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of, uh, pretend date with you. To, to make you feel better? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if I'm doing Alphys' voice the same as before, but whatever. It's fine, it's, it's fine. It sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. No, you didn't. 
one time's a person I um really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't um cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, Aww. a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm. She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. Uh -huh. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> Can't do that. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Mm. Obviously, let's roleplay let's role it. Let's roleplay it. Uh, roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Oh, she was on AIM in the fucking 90s, wasn't she? Yeah, I imagine okay. so. Which one, of, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. <laughs> oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? Ha! <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. This isn't this shit reading like every fan <laughs> ever in the places I, you're not taking. <laughs> you, you see, I, I, oh, forget it. I'm dying. I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me f feel special. Like telling me that you'll you beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying. I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, I'm dying. Hold me. What did you just say? And there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... No, 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 no. On a date? No, 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 I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean... I hate being in that situation where it's like, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I'm dying, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just, I use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just, um, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, was, I was just eating fries and on my pajamas that time. Please. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't so nerdy loser. Alfie's. Aww. 
Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Aww. Whoa. What the f Are you serious? Alfie's. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate and you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alfies, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. What the fuck? I'm dying, you? You just gonna train me? Pfft, what? Me? Oh. My. God. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> <laughs> get those bones shaken! It's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, Undyne? I'll do my best. Un-fucking believable. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? Nope. Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Yeah. Anime is real. <laughs> I know it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Sorry, I had to turn my heater off. Okay. Right. That, so, uh, that was that flag completed. Oh my god. Yeah. Wasn't that something? That was sick! Straight out of a fanfic! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where to now? Well, I guess let's just start heading back to Asgore. Alright. Sifting my way through. What the? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? Oh boy. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfie and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Very home? <laughs> uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Papyrus, you're an idiot. Ah. Uh. Well, you know. I guess I know where Papyrus, I'm going. Yeah, Papyrus made a suggestion. Go to take take River Person. Where's River that person? Right. You don't remember? You were you were just there, dude. It's been it, forever. No, it was literally two days ago. We were in this room. <laughs> I mean, in game time, it's been whatever forever. amount of time. It's been forever. Yeah, sure. I did this forever ago. Very forever ago. <laughs> Very ago. <laughs> Tra la la, what's my name? It doesn't really matter. Buzz, buzz, buzz! <laughs> buzz, buzz. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Um, you, you might want to save. Oh, <laughs> you know me so well. And uh, when I said earlier about no battles in this episode, I didn't think we'd get this far this quickly, so um, enjoy. I hate you. Go forth. Go very forth. Before we go too far forth, however, um, go on the other treadmill that, re that leads up to uh, her upstairs area. Go very forth, and then he tells me, whoa. We'll, we'll read that in a second. Just go upstairs. That, go that, that's scary. <laughs> ah, right. shit. I was afraid something was going to open. Now, I just want to point your attention back to that pile of letters. Oh, Metaton. That's right. Metaton is undergoing repairs. I forgot that was there. Uh, pile of letters on the left there. You, you passed it twice. It, le left is the other direction. Okay. <laughs> There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo, they're all unopened. Whoa! Wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Just, just keep that in mind. I think I know where this is going. I don't know if you do. I think I do. Okay, well now we can read the letter. It's a note from Alfie's. Read it. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. Thank you, text message tone. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm, I'm fucking up Alfie's voice right now. I know, I know. I'm, gonna, I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again... What? If you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You will. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. All right. So, well, let's um, head on in. You want to find out the truth? All right. Uh, I'm gonna find out the truth of truths. And that that sounded rather. That sounded rather. What the fuck? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. I don't know why I was going for, like, a cheery elevator. Why do I feel like I went to hell? Oh, this isn't the first time you've fallen a great distance. So, alright. Get ready for what's to come. Um, now you're making me nervous. Don't fucking waste time. <laughs> Keep going, it's just fine. It looks like but hell. Read, read all the computer monitors. This is all important. Entry number and, one. This is it. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. What? I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. I don't like that. These are, these are Alfie's notes. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh shit, no, Alphys, no. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being practical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. What? Tree number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Okay. 
by the way, those letters I saw that from the different people in her in her lab. Why do yeah. I feel like all these different people had a crush on Alfie's? Oh, just keep going. Uh huh. You're not gonna tell me, are you? <gasps> okay, this music is creepy. Oh, it's it's such a it's safe, such a great game. Safe, 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 safe. Yeah. Now that's a vending machine, by the way. Oh, no, yes. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you can read. Power room. So yeah, if you need any extra healing items, you can buy some chips. Some chests. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone out the side the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. So, um... Alphys wants to kill me to get that determination, doesn't she? Good god, no. What are you thinking? Actually, number nine? But that was six! Uh, they're, all, they're all over the place. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Um, you might have possibly noticed that the term for what what a monster who has fallen down means. You Dead? Know, you get what that means. There you go. But I didn't kill nothing. No, but just monsters that have fallen down. Um, go get the third sink. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you can read. Go, go turn on those things, yeah. Ugh. <gasps> what the? Something drew near. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to tell you to do here, buddy. <laughs> Old school AOL sound effects bad. But nobody came. Attack 35, defense 30. I think they're make are they making the modem dial-up sounds? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Boy, it's a good thing you got the Tammy armor. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Okay, no. But nobody came. Memory head. Ooh. Um... Us shortly become one of us. Are you sure you want to join them? Not particularly. Well, we'll find out how that turned out, anyways. That's a shame. Come join the fun, Laura Mipsum Doset. Quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Red key, huh? Wow. Where did you need a red key just now? Where um, did you need a red key just this very second? Just this a few seconds ago, where did you need a red key? In here? Click! The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Yeah, you turned on the red switch. Have you forgotten how games work? Don't you start with me. Yeah, the notes tell you where the keys are, pretty much. Oh, okay, gotcha. We read through that one already. Uh, 
I, oh, I get it. And there's four switches, there's four lights on that door. Yep. So let's go looking for the others. This is the section known as the true lab. This is Alphys' real lab. Okay. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Whoa, that, that, that's creepy. Wait, maybe maybe you want to take a nap. Maybe maybe, maybe you want to have a sleep. Maybe maybe, maybe you want to. No, okay. I'm looking at each and individual bed. That's a good thing to do. I'm aware of that. I kind of figured as much. There you go. You found the yellow key. That's the only thing in this room. Save, save, save. But, but go, go rest in that, uh, go rest in that bed. Go, go rest, or, or read the note. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. It's just her regular suspicious bed now. <laughs> the bottom left bed, dude, you totally skipped it. Are you not reading? Sure. Yeah, lay on the bed. Have a lie down. Keep lying down, don't worry. The last time you laid down, it was awesome, remember? No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. You, you got to feel like garbage with naps to bloke. No, <laughs> I don't want to feel like, why am I... Yo, that thing's getting dangerously close to me. It's all right. No, it's Don't not. No, it's not. I didn't Don't consent resist. to this. Don't resist. I didn't consent to this. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, you can get out of bed now. <laughs> Don't you fucking do that again. Try it and write. I was going to explore anyway. Right, right. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Seeds? Golden flowers. <laughs> mm. I've learned to check everything. Um, what the flippin'? Hi. Um. Hello. The threat. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. <sighs> this this thing seems to be an amalgamation of things, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wow, sucks what happened to that dude, huh? Blank remembers its conscience. It's enough. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the mad dodging skills! All oh, the mad dodging skills. Oh, listen to you go like a bastard. But it already remembered its conscious. Okay, so uh, oh, 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 I don't want head. I don't. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> head, buddy. <laughs> but no one heard you. You like butterfly? 
You like butterfly? Okay. Washing my hands doesn't do anything. It prevents the spread of germs. No, seriously, I have no no real helpful comments for this battle. <laughs> <laughs> you did something mysterious. Okay. I recognize that as more to learn from this world. Ah! Ah! Stop getting your ass kicked. Oh, shut up. You've tried everything except for pick on, I think. It's Reaper Bird. Someone finally gets it, Ribbit Ribbit Courage. Oh, you are an amalgamation of stuff. It seems placated. All right, good job. Yeah, you, you, you had potato chips. That's sort of a fun game joke. Okay. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. That's all you can read. Some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot. Okay, so I don't have the right key for that one. No, nope, you got the yellow key. I have to remember where this is. You know what this takes me back to? Like blue, what? yellow, and other colored keys. I don't, I'm going to take you back to way back when. Um, mm -hmm. Captain Crunch commercials. Remember the Soggies? Oh, the Soggies. <clears throat> there was an old contest way back when that you have to watch the commercials and then the kids are write down the stuff they saw. And um, they were, if they win, they get a $100 share of a million dollars. Wow. And those Entry number 11. different colored keys were involved. Cool. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Wow. Well, you know. Metaton was seen cool. You've seen Metaton's bod. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, this is something that holding on to the stick might have been good for. Oh, well. It's the amalgamate. Amalgamate? No, I, not excited I honestly to play didn't mean to click play. I meant to click pet. Well, that's okay. What do you think this is an amalgamation of? A dog. A dog? Several dogs. Probably. Oh, God. I forgot about that. <laughs> Ow! Keep at it. Ugh. Ew! Woof, woof. Oh, it wants affection now. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. Rest quietly on your lap for a moment. Snore. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Not exactly the same as your fight with Greater Dog, was it? No, it was not. Oh, no. Uh, well, that's fine. The butt's pie. Butterscotch pie, it served its purpose already. It's cool. It's striking the wall with its claws. Yeah, you can play with it? I don't know. Um... Well, to get it away, I'm thinking... I'm trying to get it to me. Ah! You already got it to you, it just laid its head on your lap and slept and shit. Try play. 
You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. It brings it back to you, proudly. You repeat the process a few times. Now Malcomet is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Oh, ew! It's still a doggy. It's twitching affectionately. Stage one happiness froth. Oh, ow. <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, at least you're uh, figuring out Rocket Dog. It's intensifying. It's just uh, a cat. Pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Endogeny is contented. Ew, 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 ew! So, um, recap a little bit here. All the bodies of dead monsters, monsters that had fallen down, coming to Alfie's. Uh-huh. All the uh, families of the monsters wondering what's going on, what's happened. Yeah. Where, where's the bodies of... I don't know if you read that one. Ah, 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. Wow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no! Oh, okay. You know you want to. I can't push any faster, that's funny. Green key! <sighs> um... I was gonna go save it, but, you know... Oh, dude, you're not that... you're not that shitty. Like this is the first time a game's ever pulled that prank on you. It smells like sweet lemons. I wasn't trying to fight, that was bad, no. Nah. Welcome to my special hell. <sighs> smells like sweet lemons. Lemon <laughs> bread. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, unhug? Try uh, it's up to you. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Do you think I'm pretty? Maybe you keep humming? Oh, you flex. It's muscle shakes. But nobody came. Fucking candy corn ass teeth. Melody of pulsating flesh. That's what they all say. Ow. That was bad. Uh, okay. Come some more? Nothing else uh, okay. happened. Okay, so. Alright, nobody came. Oh god. This, this, these fights still creep me out a little. A little? Just a touch. That, yeah. Okay, that's Screamed bad. Screamed out, but nobody came. Stay here with me. See, I don't know if you remember way back when we were still in the uh, waterfall area that there was an enemy called Shiren. And I kind of wanted you to keep humming with her, because that sort of let things be better. But, uh, yeah. Does, uh, does this remind you slightly of Shiran? I don't it, know. It's been, a, it's been a long time. Could this be goodbye? Well, that was close. Yeah. Let me go back and save for real the, this time, because I need my energy back and I don't want to waste another item. Alright. 
Then I'll come back to that spot. Cool. Wait, wasn't the green key um, to the right anyway? That was blue. That was blue? Yeah. Alright. So, are you kind of getting the picture of what, what kind of started to happen here a little bit? Yeah, lots of bad experiments. All right, um, you really want to watch VHS number one. Well, I always watch stuff in order. All right. Oops. Gordy, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Uh, and why do you have that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Mm, carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no. Not yet. Hee hee hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, I don't know, honey. What what kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. I get it. I see what she's trying to do. <laughs> you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous mom idiot. Well, I am going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Wow. Yeah. That you was... Know were. Yeah, I know who them, them were. You can't make it all out under sheets. Yeah, you found that key already. Uh-huh. Watch more tapes. More tapes. Huh. Oh, okay, Jason, are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> Aww. But why me? Wait, what? Why the. Okay, I'll. I'll mm, okay. Howdy, Jason. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this time I got you. I left the cap on on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. But we accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Uh, home movies. Why do I feel like there's more than that, though? I, I don't like this idea, Jason. What? No, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Jason. Never. Y yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Hmm.
Jason, can you hear me? I want you to wake up. Jason, you have to stay determined. You, you can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Mm. Psst, Jason, please wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Well, that tells me that this is definitely time to put it, um, a cap on this. Because I think, so. I think yeah, we've been going almost an hour now. So I'm going to put a cap on this one just for now. And we're going to go further next week. Because now I'm starting to learn things. Well, it's not that much longer to the end of this particular area. And so the next we'll, one's probably going to be pretty big. So so let's do it there. Let's end yeah, it let's, big. Let's end it let's, big. Let's finish the true lab, yes. Let's end it big. By the way, you did miss a monitor in that room where the videotapes were. No, I didn't. I don't remember you checking that monitor. Entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Oh boy. So those were, uh, those were the Asgore and Toriel Dreamer family tapes. I imagine. DT, DT Extraction Machine, status inactive. DT stands for what? Determination. You're a good boy. <laughs> the families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. Entry number 21. See what I did there? <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. But you know what? I don't think my pe my audience is gonna appreciate me ignoring that. So, mm. it's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, really, it, it's it's an empty refrigerator. Okay. It seems to contain samples. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's so cold. Amalgamate attack, negative 12 defense, negative 5. It seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. This music is so scary. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I, I remember. Smells like salty slush. Well, you said something like you look horrible. Why are you even alive? What? You didn't say that? Snowy. It's so cold. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. This is absolutely disturbing. Keep telling jokes. He told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. <laughs> Thank you. It's so cold. She's completely calmed down. You won. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. That looks like the last key, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. What's in that door? Let's check it out. Ah, it's the green keyhole. That was Snow Drake's mom. Yeah, you, you found all the things already, so wow. it's, all you gotta do now is just go... I think just the blue key is left, that's all. I thought I got the blue key! Yeah, you got it. Now you gotta put it in the thing. Okay. That was the yellow one. You I can was tell because it's yellow. I can do. I'm gonna <laughs> shoot you in the foot. What's this about shoes and feet? I'm gonna shoot you in the foot. Oh. That's not as nice. No, it's not. <laughs> and, uh, um, it wasn't in this room. It was uh, to the, where the beds were. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, in case you didn't piece it all together, Alphys was sent all the monsters that died, but injecting <clears throat> determination from all six of the human souls into them. And they are what you have seen in this lab. That is they disturbing. Alfie's is sicker than I thought. Well, you know what she was trying to do, right? I know, but it's like yeah. it's it's so damn. Yeah. This game takes really a new makes... take on zombies. Yeah, it really does. So you should be able to go open that big door now. That was this away, I think. Y'all. Yeah. And those letters, do you still think they're from crushes? It sounds like it, they were. Yeah, no, they were the letters from the families asking where the hell are our people? Where, where are our family members at? Hmm, okay. Seems to be turned off. Seems like this controls the other's power. Yes! Um, um, uh -oh. um, um, hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Wow. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had and, uh... Anyway... The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. I don't know about back you up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. Mm. During my research, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. Oh boy. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing... Everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Very. Being honest, 
believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. Yep. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on. This is true. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Now this is a lesson a certain friend of mine should um, get, get into her head, which I'll probably talk about later. Mm. But not here. Thank you. Whoa. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Wait, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, the things are turning on now. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. Oh no! Hmm. The flower from the outside world. Oh no. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? It becomes... I'm not saying it, but I think I know. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Uh-huh. I, I, that's pretty what? obvious. What? What? Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Jason, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, Everything has fallen into place. Jason? See you soon. What the? And oh, that is, is not fair. At this point, from this point forward, there is only the end of the game. But there's no save spot. There should be. Try, uh, try going through the thing and seeing if you can find a save spot. This? Yeah. Might be one in the church. No. Might be one outside the church. Let's hope. Because I see nothing. But let us, let us proceed. Because there's no turning back now. Yeah. There's no sit. There mm, might now. be one in the throne room. I'm checking the coffins. And what's that? That wasn't there before. Yeah, it was. There were stairs. Oh, okay. Yeah, coffins are still there. <clears throat> if there's not one... All right, there's like a couple rooms after the throne room. I don't remember if there's another save point before the end, but if there's not, are you prepared to do the final episode tonight? Uh, it doesn't matter now, does it? Because there's no save spots in here to stop me. The last save spot possible would be right there. Okay. Woo! Now, we are at the very end. If this was a yep. live stream, I'd probably tell, you know, I'd probably ask people to cast a vote on it. But we've been going for a good hour and a, uh, we've been going for a good hour and eight minutes now. So yeah. So hmm. this is this is definitely an episode. This is the this is the end. Uh, now you're saying this is it. There's no more to do after this point. Like after, after this, this th point, after this, that that is the end of the true pacifist run, and it deserves its own video. You're right. So we will do that. I will make it its own. And the next episode. So you're saying the next episode will be the last one for pacifist. Come hell or high water. All right, well, we'll do the thing, man. And I will right. catch you guys later. Also, remember, go check out my buddy Solomon's page at youtube.com slash Solomon's Dragon. There'll be a link in the description below. And um, check out his videos with um, his buddy Rambler. They do some fantastic stuff together. You'd make me blush if you didn't pronounce the name wrong. You said Rambler. No, Dracone, not Dracone. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Peace.